What's up guys, welcome back to DHTV. Today we are continuing the how-to series on the iPhone 5. Today's video is going to be a very simple one. I'm just going to show you how to back up and restore the backup on your iPhone. Now backing up is always a good practice and the iPhone is no exception. So let's not waste any more time and let's get started. Backing up and restoring on your iOS device is super easy, just involves a few steps, but before we can get started with that, you need to make sure that your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch is plugged up to your computer and you have iTunes opened up. So once you've done that, you'll be on a page similar to this one here. The only difference you might see is at the top right here where mine says iPhone because I'm using the iPhone. If you're using the iPad or iPod Touch, it'll say uh, what device you're using. So once you're on this page, you can go ahead and click on the little icon at the top here. All right, now from this page here, this is where your backups and your restores are going to take place. As you can see, you've got two buttons here, a backup now button and a restore your backup button here. On the left side, you have a couple of sections where you can select either to have it backed up to your cloud, have it backed up to your computer, and even encrypt the iPhone backup, which basically uh, backs up your passwords used on the phone or iPad as well. So uh, you can go ahead and choose the section you want. I'm just going to do the computer for this example. And once you've got it selected, you can go ahead and click back up now. Now, as you can see at the top here, it's beginning the backup process. This might take a few minutes depending on how full your iPhone is. This one is just a 16 gigabyte model, but it's still probably going to take about five minutes to complete. So I'll return once it's done. All right, so the backup has completed. So that's pretty much it for that section here. As you can see, it says last backed up to this computer today at 4.21 p.m. So you can pretty much restore from that backup anytime you want. And to restore your backup, all you need to do is click on restore backup here. It'll open up this page here and you might have a few um, backups or a few phones that you wanna select. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one here that says last backed up today and I can go ahead and click restore. I won't do that just cause I don't wanna do anything right now. But uh, once you click that, it'll restore it back to its original settings. Just keep in mind that this is only going to restore the contacts, calendars, notes, text messages, and settings. It's not going to uh, bring back the iPhone's firmware. So keep that in mind. Also, if you have any applications and you do um, a, like a full restore of your phone, which deletes everything, um, you're going to have to re-download those apps, I believe, through the App Store. You won't have to pay for them again because you've already purchased them. You just have to re-download them, which personally I think is a pretty good idea. It doesn't take up any space anywhere, and uh, it doesn't take that long to re-download any of those apps for the most part. Anyway, guys, that's how you back up your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch and restore the backup. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, remember to hit the like button as it helps me out and helps support my channel. Also, subscribe for more tech videos and videos like this one, and I will see you in the next one.